Hi all, welcome to my channel. This video is about AWS certification paths. AWS itself has given its recommendations based on your professional role as well as your aspirations. And I will combine my experiences with that and I will provide my recommendations. So let's begin. There are now 12 AWS certifications, including the two machine learning certifications which will be introduced in August 2024. When you want to do a certification, you can pick and choose. You can do any of these 12 certifications. There is no restriction such as you have to complete certification B before certification A, etc. So AWS itself provides its own recommendations on which path you can follow based on your career role. So based on that, plus based on my experience, I have actually prepared some recommendations. Let us try to go through that so in case if you are just starting your career and you are new to the cloud your objective may be to showcase your cloud knowledge in the interviews which you are participating and when you are going ahead with your job search you want to boost your confidence and perform better in interviews so for you since you are starting with aws you could start with cloud practitioner which is the basic certification and then you can do ai practitioner this is also basic foundational certification because you know in today's world artificial intelligence generative ai machine learning data science etc are very important so it will be very good to have apart from cloud practitioner which gives you aws cloud basics it would be good to have your ai practitioner certification as well and after that you can target solutions architect associate certification which is slightly harder compared to the other two and this is the recommendation for if you are going to start your career or if you are maybe you are in the university and you want to start your aws journey and similarly if you are in a non-technical role such as you are a sales manager you are in marketing and you are not going to do any solution development you are not going to work on any development project in aws but you need to have meaningful conversation with your clients where you'll be able to better understand their problems and you can have some ideas to suggest in front of them about how cloud can help in solving their issues. In that case also you don't need to go deep into AWS technicalities so you can also follow the same you can start with cloud practitioner and you can have AI practitioner certification as well and then you can based on your time availability you can go for solution architect certification as well. In case if you are able to find time for only the basic certifications, cloud practitioner and AI practitioner, that also would suffice because solution architect associate certification preparation will take some considerable time. So this is the recommendation for if you are in a non-technical role. Now, assume that you have started your career as an IT engineer and you are looking for getting opportunities in new promising projects. You want to improve your project contributions if you are already in a project and your organization may have set some knowledge goals in terms of industry certification, etc. So in such situations, you can actually follow multiple paths based on what is your role in the project. You may be a solution architect, you may be an application architect or a developer or a DevOps engineer or a system admin engineer, etc. Based on that, you can choose the paths. So I will show you a few selected certification paths in the coming slides. It is based on your role in the project. So if you are a solution architect who is involved in the end-to-end -end development of your solution rather than just working on a small piece of your project. So in such cases, again, you can start with cloud practitioner and then complete AI practitioner as well because these days you also need to know where all you can incorporate the AI solutions, AI services, machine learning services which are available in AWS. Now if you are already, if you already have some experience, you may also start with your solution architect associate certification and after you complete solution architects associate certification my suggestion is you could either go for solution architect professional or you can go for any of the specialties which which is aligned better with the kind of project you are working on for example if you are working on some data science project or machine learning project accordingly you could go for the corresponding associate exam or specialty exam these are associate exams security related this is specialty exam you could also go for solution architect that is up to you so you'll have to do that evaluation but my suggestion would be you should have at least the basic ai related certification either the basic ai related certification or you should go for the machine learning engineer associate certification so that's about solution architect if you are a developer who is comparatively a junior team member you are responsible for doing solution development in aws but you may not be necessarily responsible for the end-to-end -end solution you can also start with your cloud practice 
practitioner basic certification and then you can go ahead with your solution architect associate or a developer associate i would suggest you to do both but if you can do only one certification then you may go for developer associate certification and follow that up with your devops engineer professional certification so that's about developer certification path now if you are if you are an application architect you are responsible for designing developing an application and then deploying it in various environments maintaining it planning enhancements planning improvements your to your applications etc if you are an application architect then again in the beginning you could start with your foundation certifications on cloud practitioner and ai practitioner and then you can follow that up with your associate level certifications which is sa associate and developer associate and that can be followed by your devops engineer professional and then finally solution architect professional if you don't have time for two professional certifications i would recommend that you can go for devops engineer professional because that will help in your day to day activities of your application development and application management activities okay so that was about application architect now if you are a cloud engineer sysadmin or support kind of role if you are working on you will start with your cloud practitioner and then you will graduate to your sysops administrator which is an associate exam and then you can go for security specialty because that will be very important for a cloud support engineer and sysadmin security is very important and that can be followed by your devops engineer because if you are a cloud support sysadmin engineer you need to be aware of the devops processes and aws devops of tools so devops engineer certification is very important and you can follow that up with a certification on advanced networking because you will be dealing with security networking devops system support etc so this certification path will help you now if you are a devops engineer of course starting point is same and then you may take developer associate exam before you go for your professional devops engineer certification and before that you can even go for your sysops administrator again associate exam so first you start with cloud practitioner then take developer associate and sysops admin associate before you can take your devops professional exam so that is for devops engineer If you are a cloud data engineer again your starting point is cloud practitioner and ai practitioner followed by solution architect associate and then data engineer associate this certification was introduced by aws in 2024 first half so data engineer associate certification will be a good asset for you if you are a cloud data engineer and also go for machine learning engineer associate because data science and machine learning they are closely related so you should go for machine learning engineer associate as well and security is also very important in terms of your data management so you can go for security specialty as well and if you are a machine learning engineer then again your starting point is same cloud practitioner and ai practitioner and then you can take solution architect certification to get yourself familiarized with aws solutions and services and then you can go for machine learning engineer associate then you can also take data engineer associate certification as we discussed earlier data science and machine learning they are closely related so if you are a machine learning engineer you can take data engineer associate certification as well and finally you can go for a specialty certification which is machine learning specialty so these are the suggested certification paths which i have created based on aws's own suggestion plus what are i have experienced so please let me know if you have any questions related to the certification paths and your specific situation and as i said there is no one solution which fits everyone but these are all just recommendations which you can consider before you take your final decision and most likely what will happen is even if you start with any one of these certification paths you may take maybe the first one two three certifications and after that you will be able to decide for yourself which one you should go for next you don't need to go through even the, the documentation which is provided by aws or any of these videos which explains about possible aws certification paths in the video description i will give you the link to the aws page where aws describes the possible aws certification paths i hope this video was useful for you i'll be back with more similar videos please consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye